Previously on The Potentialists. I candy galore everywhere. And she took the light. That lady just took the red light. They taught the New Yorkers. <laughs> Do they got big girl sizes? It's history at its best. A machine that would make pizza. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We're in Rome, where the buffalo don't roam. In Rome, we wanted to get the full experience. Public transportation. Yeehaw! Most of it, if not all of it, we did it in public transportation because we really want to experience the way that it really was. We took the subways. And the subways are like New York City. It's like it never ended. Not packed in a way, but destroyed. And sometimes you'd have to like take a bus to get from one side to the other. This is people from Miami taking public transportation to Italy and we have no idea what the heck we're doing. It was different. We, we, we had to change the money conversion and then you get a ticket and the ticket works all day. So in a way I didn't feel if it was right that we didn't pay every time we get in the bus. It was totally different. Okay. okay. The Coliseum was so beautiful. I am standing right in front of it right now. Everybody kept telling me it was small. And then we got there and there's this huge Coliseum. The Coliseum was huge. Everybody complains about the Coliseum that it's not as big as they thought it was. It looked pretty big. I carved my age into the Coliseum. And then also my name. A lot of it has deteriorated throughout the years, but they've done a great job of maintaining it. A big piece of it was under construction though, so we took a lot of pictures and walked around and everything. It was cool because it was still put together. It wasn't like broken apart or, you know, you can see a lot of it. It was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> It was really different type of landscape. Millions of people roaming around. and Everything had some sort of texture that you can tell has been there for a long time. It was really cool because there's all these different buildings and architectures and everything. Everywhere you turn, there's a huge piece of history. They're all marble. Amazing. This is La Basilica de San Paolo, the second largest church in Rome. There are seven main churches in Rome, and it was considered a Christ, very Christian-like to visit all seven of them, and it would, was an eight-mile uh, trek around the city of Rome to visit them. We went to all these different old places and everything, and to me, it's interesting, very, very interesting. Those some big toes, my goodness. In the ball office, if you're noticing some of the plants and trees and stuff, it all came from the motivation of us going to Europe. Those are the trees I'm going to put in the house. We visited the Vatican. I wanted to take pictures, but you know, over there, they're very strict. It's definitely one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. I know this one. Sabrina's friends. It is the most beautiful church in the world. I have experienced today. The Vatican is humongous. It's a mile walk through the inside of the Vatican from the beginning to the end. And there's no air conditioning and it's like 105 degrees outside. If you're able to handle the heat, it is one of the most beautiful things I've seen. History, information, knowledge, just too much for me to be able to it's actually breathtaking. The Vatican was very interesting to me too because I've never actually seen so much art. Breathtaking. You walk in there and you have these artwork that you know haven't been touched in years and centuries and all there within your arm's reach. It was really cool because you got like, um, I don't know if you guys know that famous picture where they go like that, the, the two guys. And if you want to go to the Vatican, you have to go really, really early uh, and stand in line for like three or four hours to get in. I can't do that, so we just took a VIP tour and we got in within 
like 30 minutes or something. I recommend the VIP tours at the Vatican. Don't stand in that heat in that line. You're going to pass out. The facts that we learned on the Vatican were amazing. The nuns are selling. No, baby. We get back to our gorgeous villa and we're hanging out in the girls' room. Beautiful place, gorgeous. The location was high end. And we're lying down, just getting ready for dinner, and all of a sudden, Audrey screams, A rat! A rat! Ah! And she's screaming at the top of her lungs. <laughs> Sabrina goes, I saw it, I saw it, it's this big! What did you see? Mmm, <laughs> ratatouille. <laughs> Audrey gets on the desk, we're on the bed, and we're all like grossed out, and we're like, oh my god, call somebody! But nobody wants to go run for the phone. Everyone got on top of something. I was the only one on the floor just laughing at them. So then we call the front desk, and we tell them, there's a rat in the room, oh my gosh! So they come over, and it is so funny. Welcome, welcome! Ratatouille's here! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he runs at me, I'm gonna die. So he starts looking for the rat and he can't find him. So now we're all like icked out and we're like, oh my gosh, you know what are we gonna do? But it's time for dinner, so we got dressed and we left. Completely forgot about the the rat. Next day. We come back from, you know, sightseeing. My dad was in, like, the bathroom area, and he was, like, washing up and everything, and then... Guess who's in the restroom with him? <laughs> Our little friend! <laughs> he starts screaming, ah! <laughs> The rat is in here with me! And like, we're like, oh my god, we gotta call the front desk! I found the mouse. He's in the bathroom. Behind the bed. <laughs> I got, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. He's in, he's in, he's in. We got him. And at the end of the day, when we finally caught him, we didn't hurt him. Turns out that this huge rat was an itty bitty mouse. Very interesting encounter with a mouse. The architecture in Rome is just spectacular, the details. And it's everywhere you drive, it's absolutely beautiful. And there's people everywhere. I mean, given it was summer in Europe, but it's just very, a very hectic place and a very heavy energy. That heaviness wasn't enough for us, so we decided to go to the catacombs. <laughs> it was like Tales from the Crypts. You ended up going underground where they had all these dead people. Believe it or not, the second that you hit like, like five feet into the catacombs, you go from 105 degrees to like 60. I don't know, it's kind of spooky and I've seen a lot of movies with catacombs. We didn't gonna get much footage because they didn't allow us to film. When you're there, it's just creepy and because it's so dark in front of you and so dark behind you, I made sure I stayed in the middle. <laughs> Most of them are empty now because they were buried with their riches. So a lot of people would, you know, through the hard times, break into the catacombs and, and you know, dig out the riches. I mean, it was interesting for the most part. One of the things that I love doing with my family or with my extended BOA family is to travel the world. Honestly, to me, traveling the world with my family, it means a lot to me. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to travel through Europe with their entire family. Whether it's a local place or is a place around the world or something in the States, I just love to travel. Amazing what you can actually see when you go traveling around the world. It was very interesting to have so many of us with all this luggage and, and you know, transportation issues and space issues and, and you know, just getting from one place to the other is very interesting. And when we go on these family vacations and trips, that's when we spend the most time. That's when we bond. That's when we get together and we all, it was, it was, I love going on trips with my family. It's the best. I like to experience it firsthand with those people that you truly care about. When you just get up, up your butt and uh, go somewhere. Because those experiences you'll never forget. You can take someone's wealth away. You can take anything you want physically away from them, but what you can't take is whatever you put in your mind. One of our next trips is Colombia and Belize and all these different places, but you, yes you, you're gonna have to stay tuned. I hope you enjoy our Euro trip as much as we did. And now I'll see you back in Miami. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. 
and check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Fuller World. Feel me?